Hey guys, it's Talon and I'm back with another video. Today I'll be bringing you a clone army update. This is actually going to be the first one of 2023 and the first one in, yes, I just looked, nine months, which that's crazy. That is crazy. I thought, I thought in my head it was going to be like five or six months, which is still long, but nine months, it's a long time. Um, but yeah, there has definitely been progress made over those nine months. Um, and that's why we're coming back here to give you guys a look at the army, uh, see how it's doing, and um, yeah, really just go over it, check out the changes, and come to a conclusion at the end. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it right now. So here is an overview look of the army here. Definitely is looking pretty good. Um, this is something that I've said before in 2022, and that's that I wanted to fill an entire gray base plate. This year, I think I can actually do it. 2022... I think I had like four more rows in this to fill, um, which I did pretty well, but I did not get those filled. So um, yeah, I was quite off on that estimate there, but I think this year I can do it. I think this year I can get this gray base plate filled. Um, so that's just a little thing there, but um, yeah. So going into the army here, we have 10 of the 41st scouts. We have two commander degrees and we have seven of the 41st elite clones from Battlefront, and we have three of the Phase 2 plane clones from the 2010 Swamp Speeder, and we have three of the Rancor Battalion ARF Troopers. Back up here in the front, we have the 501st, where we have 29 of the regular 501st Troopers, with one of them being back there. He was actually an incomplete at one point and is now done. Um, so I'm gonna, at some point, probably try to buy three more regular 501st Troopers to be able to throw um, another line of four in here, and so he's not just like sitting out there all alone, but that it will be one day. Next, we have eight of the jetpack troopers. We have four of the old file first troopers. We have four of the new heavy troopers, two of the officers, and two of the specialists. We have an 80 figures file first trooper. We got two of the 332nd troopers, and then we have a file first pilot. And we have three clone troopers from the 91st Legion, and we have two bark troopers and one of the regular ones. Then we have the 212th up here. We have two of the realistic style ones, two Jonak toys, two airborne, one's from the battle pack in 2014 and one's from the Grievous Starfighter. We have the older one from 2013, I believe, in the Umbarn MHC. We have an 80 figures one. We have three of the regular ones in the ATTE from 2022. And we have Commander Cody. Then we have four of the regular 187 troopers. And then we have two of the Airborne 187 Troopers. And we have two of the Horn Company Troopers, four of the Senate Commandos, and two Senate Commando Captains. And we have the Bad Batch back there with out Crosshair because they have not made a Clone Wars version of him. Then we have the Realistic Style Phase 2 where we have um, an AV Figures Camino Security Trooper, one of the regular ones, two of the Gunners, and then two from Jonak Toys. Then we have two Geonosis Troopers, one being regular and one being airborne. And we have four of the plain uh, Phase 2 Clone Troopers. We have for the older ones. And then we have a 327 Trooper. We have Commander Wolf, who is recently completed. And we have three Shock Troopers, one 80 Figures, one older one, and one from 2014. And then we have one of the newer Gunners from the ATTE. We have two Lightning Squadron ARF Troopers, two Commander Hammers. We have six regular... Uh, phase one animated clone troopers. Then we have a commander, a gunner, two bomb squad, and a pilot. Then we come to my favorite part of the army, which always has been, probably always will be, is the realistic style phase one clone troopers, um, who first came out in 2013 in the episode two wave that they had done then, which would be very nice to get another wave like that. But they did just come out with an ATTE, so I don't see them doing that anytime soon. But they will not be going back to the realistic style, which is quite unfortunate. But um, you know, this has definitely been the part of the army that's increased the most when it comes to non-set variants. I'd say about three of these guys are from sets when it comes to the, uh, the plain ones. Anyhow, we have 12 of the, um, regular ones, and then we have two with leg printing. We have two lieutenants. We have one sergeant and one commander. We have six of the newer style, uh, phase one clone troopers. They're kind of a mix of realistic and animated. And then we have four of the Commanders, which one of them is from the gunship, but you would never be able to tell which one. I don't even know which one it is. And then we have the original clone trooper back there from 2002. 
and Tom Wee back in the corner. So yeah, that is it for the Clone Army. Definitely a good size. I'm liking the size of it. Um, definitely like to fill out this gray base plate at some point, but hopefully within this year, I think I can be able to. I'm hoping to buy a couple more of the newer File First Battle Packs, maybe one or two more of the Hover Tanks, and um, I think they're supposed to come out with like a Swamp Speeder or something, uh, which might have a clone or two in it. So I guess we'll see on that. But yeah, it's definitely looking really, really good. I'm really happy with the progress of the army. Um, just to let you know which ones have been completed in this, I think, nine month period, or at least ones have been added. I believe, I'm not sure, but I believe one of those um, 2010 style plain phase two clone troopers might have been completed. I know for a fact that file first trooper was completed. Uh, we added the clones from the new file first battle pack for sure. Uh, let's see, we added the uh, 212 clones from the ATT. -E. We added the entire 187th. See, I think I already had the Bad Batch. Let's see. We added one of the older style Phase 2 clone troopers. We completed Commander Wolf, finally. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I believe that's going to be it. We might have completed one of these uh, realistic style Phase 1 clone troopers. And then we added the uh, 10 clones here from the um, figure pack. So, yeah, that's probably, it's definitely over 20. That could be around 30 clones added, if I'm going to be honest. Um, I believe that's what we're around from additions since the last update. So, this is definitely a good update when it comes to new stuff. Um, and, yeah, I'm very, very happy to be able to get this out finally. I didn't even realize it had been so long. But, you know, I just had a base plate around. I was like, you know what, Let's throw the clones on it and make an army video. So, here we are, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give the video a like if you enjoyed um, this ARMY update. Comment your thoughts down below on the ARMY and what clones you would like me to get more of in the future, more legions or possibly new legions I don't have, any types of clones you'd like to see me add. I'm hoping of adding another 327 trooper, but they have gone up in value quite a bit. They used to be like $6, now they're like 10. I'm hoping to buy a couple more file first battle packs and then maybe one or two more of the 187th legion uh hover tanks so we will see on that but yeah that is gonna be it for the army so if you like the channel and stuff and you want to see more subscribe to the channel and uh yeah that is gonna be it for this video so thank you guys so very much for watching and i'll see you in another video